Our St. Patrick's Day traditions at Cal Poly are concerning residents who live near campus. News Channel reporter Tony Almanza shows us what San Luis Obispo police will do this year to tame what's known as St. Fratty's Day block parties. Cal Poly students say St. Patrick's Day traditions at the school get wild. Students host street parties known as St. Fratty's Day celebrations. This is a once a year thing, right? I mean, it's not happening every day, so let people have fun. Let people have fun and let them do their thing. Downtown slow bars filled with college students annually on the weekend surrounding St. Patrick's Day. I think since it just happens like once a year, I don't think it should be a big issue. Last year, St. Fratty's Day parties shut down streets in neighborhoods near campus. With hours of music blasting, loud yelling, large crowds blocking streets, and risky behavior from too much alcohol consumption. Carolyn Smith says she woke up to fireworks at 4 a.m. and saw intoxicated students climbing utility lights. Residents feel helpless while partiers are basically in control of their neighborhood for hours on end. Please don't minimize this as young people just having fun. This year, slow police will enforce a safety enhancement zone on March 17th and 18th. The safety enhancement zone um, allows us to double the fines for alcohol type violations, public nuisances, hosting unruly gatherings, and there can be a maximum of $1,000 per uh, issuance of those citations. More officers will be on patrol this year. Be on vehicle, will be in vehicles, bicycles, motorcycles, and even out on foot. Uh, to diversify kind of some of our patrol techniques. This year, St. Patrick's Day falls on Friday. I thought it was a lot of fun. Waking up early, going out on the street, seeing like the whole block filled up at five, six in the morning. Like it's, it is just once a year, it's a Saturday. I think it's a cool thing. In San Luis Obispo, I'm News Channel reporter Tony Almanza.